Hey guys, D-Mike here. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Super Mario Odyssey. Last time. Scaled that big old carrot. Fought every brutal and brutal Vol Voltron Voltron. <laughs> Voltron Voltron. And came out on top. And our reward is the king outfit. We are the king of Mario Odyssey. But not quite yet. We have a little bit of work to do. We don't quite have enough moons to really justify making it to the final destination. So we're gonna have to make amends for that. And if you like making amends and having penultimate episodes of Let's Play series, if you could like this video, comment, and subscribe. That's the truth of it all. This probably will be the second to last episode, I think. Which makes me a little sad that I couldn't get this up to a round number, but that's okay. Sometimes getting it up is a little tough, but that's fine. We're going to make do. First thing. Got a bit of a challenge. I actually don't know what this is. I've never done this. Okay, great. This looks like one we've already done before. But maybe a little bit easier now that we are the king. Ooh, gravity is... Same, same gravity. I'm not sure why this is... The challenge? We've already done this before, I thought. No cap toss, though. So... That's not gonna benefit us in any way. Okay, and we have to wait for this to happen. Okay, great. Oops. That would've been nice if I would've landed on that. If we remember this one... Go all the way to the back and get the key! And then... Grab the... Giant bullet bill. I do like their little visors, it is very cute. But, anyway. This is made a little bit more difficult, of course, with the lack of cap. We're no longer the captain. Should be another bullet bill that comes out of the bottom. Oh, we can't do it this way because we don't have the cap this time. So maybe there isn't a. I don't know. Wow, my brain really got farty on that one. Maybe there is only one, one moon for this one. Well, let me take a quick peek. I mean, there is something, there is some sort of a, a structure above. Wow, I could have had this on in one easy try, or two easy tries at least. You know, first try, of course, oops. Why not start off the second to last episode playing Highly skilled, of course. Yeah, I don't think there's... No, there still is. There's still something down there, so that means that we're going to have to make a race against the clock. And... Do it the old-fashioned way. Which, in that case, we do still have to drop down here. Trigger the bullet bell. And then go for it. Oh, you just have to make a bunch of really accurate long jumps. Okay. And that's even if there is something below there. I don't know. We just assuming down here. This doesn't really feel like a very, like, super fun... Oh, hey, the game is ending. Let's... Let's do a victory lap kind of a thing, which... I say that now, but I do know what's coming, which is going to be horrible. Um, okay. Well, I'm not going to do that again. I'm going to do it the regular way. Regular? One more time. Just to get the key. And then I'm getting the heck out of here. I don't know if this is supposed to be... an additional challenge, but I have no interest in that. Because this episode is meant to be fun, and I am already not having that. I haven't even gotten the... OG moon from this and enjoyed it yet, so whoop. That's gonna kill me. Alright. I forgot that you have to go back. Back to the past. And we do not love reliving our past. That's where the spooky things are. History is a mystery. Today's a gift. That's why it's called the present. 
Do you get a viewers? Do you like that? I didn't come up with that. Some dad probably did. All right. So we can't really do any of our fancy techniques because I think we do need Cappy for that. Although I don't know. Hold on. All right. I mean, we can do the roll. That's not what I was trying to do, but. Whoop, and a little. Whoop, whoa. Okay. Okay. Everything is horrible. And we are dead. I'm actually only going to... I don't think this is required, so I don't know why I'm putting so much effort into it. But I will do this one more try. Legitimately one more try, because I don't want to do this anymore. And this is something we've already done before in alternate circumstances. So there's no real real need. Okay, well that's... that's great. I tried. We have failed the final chimney challenge. That's fine. It wasn't really that fun to begin with. Give me my hat back. All right, so let's motor on. We need seven more. Are there, are the challenges down there? Hold on, where am I going? I feel like, oh, we didn't even look at this. Oops, the dark side remote region, even for the moon. The rabbit ridge, the last word in dedicated wedding planning. Sadly an edible tower and simply, similarly an edible owner. That's funny. Yeah, I like that. Madam Brutal. Yeah. Interesting. Topper is client related. Oh, I didn't know they had different jobs. Poison under pressure. Interesting. The currency is unknown. The industry is wedding playing. Temperature is probably cold. Locals are rabbitish. Okay. I do like that. Okay, so here's their official names. Uh, here's Rango. He's the bouncer. If you want to read that, go ahead and pause it and enjoy. Harriet. Pyrotechnics, that seems appropriate. And Spewart. Oh, I didn't know his name. Spewart. Watch out for the moon's light gravity. You can still die falling off a cliff. Investigate behind all those stone carved vegetables and get greet all four of the keys of this kingdom. You know who they are. Yeah, I mean... We did get a pretty good experience with all of them. It looks like they're that beating the four brutals off does unlock a secondary chimney challenge. So we only need three more moons. Would have been nice to grab one already, but oops. Ooh, this looks like a Yoshi challenge. Are we have one of these? I mean we've done a little bit of work with Yoshi. Not much. Okay. I'm assuming that we need to Okay, well, looks like we have, let's do a quick reset. Looks like we have Luncheon Kingdom, Pepto-Bismol, Goo, that's trying to kill us. What better way to end this series than some Goo? You guys all know how much I love the Goo. It's a little hot in here. How did this get here? Like, what is this area? Okay, so it looks like it does keep track of all the fruit. I'm assuming that's what these are. That you have acquired. Did I grab two at the same time? That was dope. Sick. Alright, Yoshi, if you could grab that. Uh. I don't know how you grab that one. Okay, back to safety. Okay. So, as we have just noticed... Yoshi does die immediately upon taking any damage, so we'll not be able to rely on that. You only get one hit, which is super fun and really cool. And uh, all right, oh, let's get to this. Oh, viewers. Okay, so we did get that one. I don't know if there's a way to make him stick his tongue out further. Ooh, that's close. I think I just need to scoot. Scoot it! I'm just scooting it. Ow. That's like me when I get a little hangry, a little ow. You ever get hangry viewers? Do you ever have moments when your tummy's a grumbling and you just need a snack a rooney to get you through your day? Okay. Yoshi's Magma Swamp? 
Is this Yoshi's Magma Swamp? Whoa. Is this Yoshi's Magma Swamp, as I was trying to say before I was interrupted? Okay. Okay. I have a feeling that you get another moon if you get all of them. And I don't think that there's any more besides the three over here. So we will, of course, make an attempt. Unless this is not what you have to do, and then I am wasting time. Alright. Viewers, did you see any more? Oh, they're over there, huh? Oh! Wait, 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 wait. Hold B to flutter jump. You can also shake the... Okay. That doesn't tell you how I'm supposed to get up there, though. Like, I get the gist of the stuff over that's hidden behind the platform. I get that, but... How do I get a Yoshi over there? Extend tongue, hold B. Okay. I don't need to extend the tongue, though. Like... Whoa, what the heck? <laughs> you could do that? What's the value of doing that? That doesn't, that doesn't help you at all. Oh, well, I mean, this was stupid. Okay, so... I already got the one, so I'm not upset about that, but... Is this gonna let me keep the rest of that I've gotten? I think it it did last time. It, it grayed them out. Okay. I thought I missed the one over there. No, it's grayed out too. Okay, I was about to waste even more time. This kind of looks like the... What is it? Freeze Flake or Freeze Flame? Whatever. Galaxy? I guess Freeze Flake wouldn't make sense. How in the gosh dang heck does this game expect you to get all the way up there. What? That has to be impossible. I don't, how do you grab, how do you? What? That's a sneaky technique that I do not know. Hold on. Oh, somebody told me to check the action guide. Whoever you are, I appreciate you. Sorry, I, I would call your name out, but I don't know what it is. Ooh, controls? I did not look at this. Okay. Does it give you, like, special... Are there special controls that you can do? Capture actions? No. Well, I mean, hold on. Ooh, wait, is there anything special for Yoshi that I'm missing? Hold Y, extend tongue, hold B to flutter jump. Extend tongue, hold. Okay, that doesn't really help me at all. What else do you got? Oh, here's more stuff. The roll, the ground pound, the dive. Ground pound jump, that might be useful. Oh, can I not do some of these moves because... I'm using a pro controller. Yeah, here it is, the cap jump. I think that's what I was trying to do. Homing cap? No, hold on. This is just me having a little bit of fun here, viewers, in the second to last episode. These are all Mario 64 moves. Okay. I mean... Whatever. Travel hints? Okay, well, you know. That's interesting. I guess thank you for whoever pointed that out, but now I just need two more moons to eclipse. 500, ooh. Looks like this is another gravity challenge. Or maybe a capless challenge. Almost a topless challenge. All right, so we can do that, or we can do this. Let's check out this first. This, is just, this might just be the exit of the Yoshi channel. Ooh. I see, they're kind of doing a little bit of a throwback to all the previous galaxies. How does I go back here? There is no camera work from back there, okay. But yeah, this is just supposed to be, I think, a little bit of a reunion for our previous experiences. Okay, so... For some reason, they're really into you collecting fruit with Yoshi? 
which you don't have to use your tongue for. Apparently, you can just run into. But there might be moments here where I need to actually use the tanks to blow up some of the structures abound. And if this was not what I was supposed to do, I've already started to save my game, so I don't know. Yeah, I don't think Yoshi... Yoshi can't wall jump, so... I'm not 100% sure... Maybe I just need to fill up the gauge once. That could be it. All these busted up cars kind of look like they could be from the Fallout franchise. Has anybody been enjoying Fallout, the television show? I'm sure we all have. It's one of those things that it's pretty inescapable when you're talking to your friends. Like, oh, hey, what are you up to? What kind of stuff do you like to watch? And they're like, oh, I like to watch the same thing that everybody else is watching. I'm like, okay, cool. And that is one of them. It certainly is. For good reason. I mean, I'm not dunking on it or anything. I do actually really enjoy it. Fallout's one of my favorite video game series, which I have to credit um, my good friend Jeff Lars for pointing it out like eons ago. It's been a long time, but he was the one that actually told me about it. And that's what got me into it a long time ago. So kudos to Jeff. Wherever you are, buddy, whatever you're doing, probably never going to see this, but if you did, hope you're doing well, and thank you for bringing that lovely franchise to my mind all right so i think that the goal here like i established previously is that you just need to collect enough of the yoshi fruit to fill up the gauge that pops over his head after you get one so whoop. yeah i think it just gives it to you right away which is cool yoshi under siege that's six there's one under there. Yeah, I don't really intend to... I don't really need to get all of these. I would just like to leave now. Hello, I'd like to leave now. Realistically, I'm at a point where I just... I mean, it would be nice to kind of show off a little bit of this each time. At least that's something different. Because we only need one more. Technically. This is a cap challenge that... I think maybe these cap challenges are ones we have already done on purpose. To see if you can do it without the cap which I'm not I don't know how you would yeah I don't nope nope not doing that no do not like D Mike no likey would that be something interesting for somebody who was competent at this game yes I unfortunately am not so as you can see though it does unlock a lot of additional things to do. Well, I shouldn't say a lot, but enough. Okay, so that's just kind of telling you that if you wanted to additionally continue to fight the Brutals, you could. I don't know why you would, but there's a little peach on the back of here. Oh, that's Rosalina. From our good old Mario Galaxy days. What a wonderful game that was. What is the point of that? Alright. Well, I don't know. This is not turning out to be quite as exciting as I would have hoped it would be, but a lot of this is just challenges that I don't really want to do again, so I'm hoping that I can find something else to... Oh, there's a chimney challenge on here. Whew. Okay, good. We don't really need Hint Toad anymore. But we do have a, one more chimney challenge that we can do these Yoshi ones. Yeah, I don't know where these came from, but I'm not complaining. They're fun. This one is covered in, in lava. I must have something really, really messed up on accident, combining two words that I would never... Okay, so there we go. Ow, ow. Yeah, you can only get as much height... Oh, I guess you can do a side flow. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Nobody tell me about this. Hello. No, 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 no. Stop it. The world is hot. And I am not. Okay. Ooh, no. All right. Okay, so. Man, they really burned up my twig and berries. 
Try that again. You gotta get you gotta get moving. Alright, so the only way to really do this, apparently, it seems is like if the side flip, I didn't know that. That's the only way to get enough height to make it up here. Seems a little mean, but I'm ready to goof this. <laughs> Yoshi's feet got a little sticky there. He's like, ah. That almost kind of felt very Titanic-esque. I'll never let go! Jack, you and I both probably could have fit on this door. Or maybe I would have died with you. It would have been way more romantic, but now I'm an old, perverted lady on the, on the submarine. Talking about my former lover. In front of my children. Oh, that does not... Okay. It's kind of tricky to, to get that side flip going. Yeah, that is not... Okay. So you... The key to that, obviously, as you saw, was you have to run the opposite direction. And then post up with your bros. Okay. And whoop. Yeah, so you have to pull the direction that you're not originally going. Okay, if it would let me do... Ugh, come on, game. You're gonna make me burn through all my 242 lives? Ugh. I mean, I probably shouldn't say that. I mean, I'm saying it ironically now, but I probably shouldn't because the finale of this game is probably brutal. If any of you have played, if any of you have played Mario 3D World, I would almost be certainly guessing that it, it's probably similar in difficulty. That game was absolutely atrocious in the finale. I mean, it was fun in a way, but not easy. All right, so. Come on. At least it keeps track of what you've grabbed so far, which is convenient. I could imagine this being a little bit mind-numbingly frustrating if you didn't get to hold on to your berries. You get two freebies down here, so that's nice. Grab your berries, it's getting hot. This is a place where D Mike is not welcome at all. Alright. Get over there. Alright. So if I could just. You don't really have much of an on ramp. There we go. One more. Get there. I will sacrifice my life. Okay. I'll give you this. No. <laughs> oh no. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't really think that the- hold on, does he have a triple jump? Hold on, let's try it for more space. No, he doesn't. So you get the side flip, which is not consistent. I mean, maybe it is if I was an idiot, but it's not consistent for me. Oop, I cannot see anything. Whoa, not too little. All right, I'm right, running out of time. Time is of the essence. I'm running out of it. Get there, please. Okay, I did it. I want to know. And it auto gives it to you, so that's the final, final moon you need. Oh no. I just want to see what's up here. Thank you, Cappy. I know. Stop. Shut up, Cappy. Get there. Run. Run. Run, Yoshino. Let me up there. <laughs> I actually do kind of want to see what's up there. So I'm, I, I, you just saw it. Obviously, that was the, the final amount of moons you need. That's, which is not, the game does not telegraph that at all. I don't know how you're supposed to know, but now that we don't have to go for the berries, we can actually focus on the platforming, which probably will help because I am horrible at both things. So, here we go. Here goes nothing. All right. So one thing that sucks is you get stuck on these dumb spiky poles I hate when I get stuck on a pole leave me alone all right so I think I can just do normal jumps not here though oh it's close yours okay I'm not going for the 
I'm not going for the berries anymore. Please just let me no, just stop quit. No, uh Okay. Ugh. I don't want wait, 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 wait. What is that? what what did I see? I thought I saw something glowing, maybe? I can't tell. Oh, that's just the reflection. The death and destruction that awaits me. Alright. I gotta try it again. One more time. For old time's sake, viewers. We're winding down here in this let's play and we're getting in our feels a little bit. Ooh. There's no there's no good way to avoid that. Which is really annoying. You just have to kinda Oh, I did not mean to run into that. So we've already diminished our chances greatly. Let's do a quick reset. Boop, right in the spaghettios. This is kind of crazy though. I've been playing this game not as long as I would have expected to. Like I, I, I will go back sometimes and look at when I started playing certain series. And this one, I haven't been playing it as long as I thought that I was, or maybe it's longer. I don't remember. One of the one of the factors that goes into this kind of stuff is how frequently I was um, uploading. Sometimes I was uploading more if I had more time, and other times I wasn't. Obviously, because the opposite reason. But. In the case of this game, I want to say it was like a decent pace. This is probably not going to make it. Going way too slow. Whoa, I didn't mean to side flip that way. Alright. That's probably good enough. I mean, we'll never know what's up there. Probably just more fruit. That's okay. I felt pretty solid with that performance. I mean... I did enough work to get it going. And all around here, you, you might notice, and the reason why the game was telling you to check things behind certain surfaces is because these are all hidden moons. If you look closely on the paintings, these are all spots in other kingdoms that you can check out. And if you do that, you will be rewarded with a moon. I don't know if they're impossible to get to without, but like this kind of makes me think like that's probably Metro Kingdom. It's the helipad or something. So, you know, you got those going for you. So much art, so much rabbits. All right. I'm not sure where that would be. That looks like a rotary phone for old people. Do we get any, any additional view up here? I don't think there are any other hidden things to see around here. Nothing that would give you a bonus, at least. Which is fine, but one more look up and down that big old turret. Yeah, but viewers, we did it. I mean, 500 moons on the diggity dot. Just for you. That's more collectibles than Mario Galaxy 1 and 2 combined. It's easier to get moons in quicker quantities, of course, but, you know, that doesn't change the fact that we did a insurmountable task that nobody has ever done before. This is actually the first time, once again, historically, in Super Mario Odyssey history. So let's go ahead and deposit our final Seven moons. Lucky number seven, my favorite number, of course. And there she is. Ruined by the new products to the shop jingle. Thank you, game. The Odyssey has powered up one last time. And here we are. I've actually never done this in my own personal playthrough. I think I got to maybe the 300s I never got this far so that will be something that we actually tackle next time in the final episode of Super Mario Odyssey if you enjoyed this episode and are excited for the final challenge if you could like this video comment and subscribe and check out the YouTube shorts for more and I'll see you next time for the finale thanks everybody bye